welcome back to my channel my name is passion and this is the second installment of my wine taste with me series that I started here on my channel today I'm going to be trying two rosé wines I typically don't like rosé wines they're too bubbly for me and they remind me of champagne and I really don't like champagne but I decided to give them a try as I mentioned before in my previous video I have a palette for really sweet dessert wines so I'm trying these wines to see if I fall in love with them so if you're interested in seeing that keep watching so the first wine that I'm gonna be trying today is the black girl magic rosé from the McBride sisters for those of you who don't know this is a black owned wine so I definitely wanted to make sure I tried it and make sure I checked it out because I want to support all things black owned. So this wine states that it has vibrant flavors of strawberries, raspberries, and Mayer lemon with aromatic notes of fragrant white florals. So let's check it out and let's see what it tastes like. And I'm finally using my Tiffany & Co wine glasses. I will link my unboxing of these glasses if you guys are interested in seeing that. I believe this is how you're supposed to do it. So we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna swirl it around, we're gonna smell it. And now, let's try it. I'm gonna try it again. You always have to do that second try just to make sure you're tasting it right. So this is the reason why I typically don't go for wines other than dessert wines. I typically don't go for those wines because I feel, in my opinion, to me y'all, it tastes like beer. And that's exactly what this wine, in my opinion, tastes like. It reminds me of beer. I guess that's yeast that I'm tasting or wheat or barley. Because I'm not exactly sure how they make beer, but this, yeah, it's giving me a beer vibe. It's not even giving what y'all said it was supposed to give. But I will say by the third sip, it's not as strong. Like that taste of what reminds me of beer, it's not as strong by the third sip. But I also will say this smells, this smells very sweet. It does smell like dessert or, or like some kind of, it smells like some kind of custard or pudding in my opinion. I don't like this wine. It's definitely a no for me, dog. I probably will not be buying this wine again. Now the McBride sisters do have other types of wine in their collection. So I will definitely be interested in checking that out because I want to support all things that are black, but I will not be picking up the Black Girl Magic Rosé again. It's just not my kind of wine, y'all. I just, I don't really like this. I don't really like the taste of it. I also just wanted to note that the Black Girl Magic Rosé has an alcohol percentage of 13%. So the next wine that I'm gonna be trying today is the Berry Cream Rosé. This wine states that it offers soft strawberry and citrus aromas along with floral and spice notes. The palette displays balanced acidity with flavors of succulent strawberry, lime zest, and dark cherry finishing, smooth and crisp. Ideal with salmon sushi, pulled pork, or BLTA sandwiches. This wine pays homage to all the berry delicious goodies our grandmother made. So it sounds good. Now let's see what it tastes like. So this wine smells the exact same way that the Black Girl Magic Rosé smells. I don't like the way it smells. I, I, I really don't like the smell. But let's see what it tastes like. Let's, let's give it a It does taste very similar to the Black Girl Magic Rosé. And it could be because it's rosé. You know, all rosés just might have a very similar taste. I'm not really sure because I really don't drink rosé, but that could be why they taste so similar. It does not taste as bitter as the Black Girl Magic Rosé, so it's not as strong and, and it doesn't taste like beer as much as the Black Girl Magic Rosé. It does still taste like beer, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't taste as much like beer as the Black Girl Magic Rosé. Um, this is a little bit sweeter. It's still not, 
something that I would go for. It does have like that bubbly effect of champagne and that's something that I really don't like. Let's give it a third sip because the Black Girl Magic Rosé did taste a little bit better by the third sip so I want to give this a third sip just to be fair. Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> This is not a wine that I would buy. This is not a wine that I would purchase. I really don't like it, if I'm just being honest. I also just wanted to let you guys know that this wine has an alcohol percentage of 12.5%. Comment down below and let me know what other wines I should try. My next video will probably be centered around red wines. So if you can make some red wine recommendations down below and let me know what brand I should pick up and which ones you like, please let me know, talk to me. Let me know which ones I should try and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.